All right, it's 16 minutes away from nine now. The oldest person to live so far is 122. But some scientists think there are people alive today who could live to 1,000. Things have got to change for that to happen. To find out how, I'm joined by nanoscientist Michelle Dickinson. Michelle, good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. Um, how re- I mean, it sounds extraordinarily far-fetched, 1,000. Yeah, it does. But 20 years ago, if you told people they were going to have a smartphone in the pocket that did everything, they'd also say the same yeah. thing. So technology is advancing incredibly quickly. But that's a huge, adva- a, a huge advance, isn't it? All you have to do to stop the aging process is stop the damage in the cells. Mm-hmm. It's actually only really one mechanism you're trying to prevent. So if somebody can figure out how to do that, then that's aging What do you mean, if? I thought you were coming in to tell us how to do it. (laughs) Well, I'm obviously going to live forever, Paul. (laughs) Yeah. So So what specifically do we have to change so that we can just carry on living? So there are lots of things. We we break down, if you think of us as a car or an engine, because wear and tear. So you mm-hmm. could replace parts. You could stop them being damaged. You could make them better. So we could actually make robotics. We could um, replace new parts, say, with 3D printing of organs yeah. and tissues. Um, or we could stop the process. So the reason why we age is because our DNA gets damaged because so of we free have radicals. To, so that comes back to your original point. That's what we have to stop, yeah. the damage to our DNA. Yeah. Because if you stop the damage, then you don't age. But at the moment, we can't do that. We can slow it down in some areas. We can slow it down. We can stop the erection happening so quickly by putting things like antioxidants in this. So antioxidants suck up free radicals, which seem to be causing us to age if you go with the three radical theory. So we can slow it down. But actually, it's only one step to, to stop that and even reverse it and replace some of these damaged cells with, with new ones. So then we never have to All age. right. This scientist specialising in anti-aging research has made the bold claim that he will live to be 150. He's taking 100 drugs on average a day. Mm. Um, So I don't know, would we call that living? (laughs) He's just a drug-consuming machine. Um, But is that quite feasible? Like 150 is a lot more achievable than 1,000. Right, so we have 122 as the longest in the Guinness Book of Records. There are people who've claimed to live longer than that, but we don't have their original birth certificate. And actually, it probably is possible when you think of the medical advances we're having... Whether you want to live that long, I don't know. Mindset's really important too. There's a lot of people in Japan who seem to live much longer and it seems to be the mindset. Mm. The lady who lived to 122 had a bet on with her lawyer that she would live longer and there was money on it. So it seems like stubbornness and actually the mindset of living longer it's seems It's quite important. To help. Yeah. Really and that, important. in fact, that's one of the things the scientist who says he'll live to 150 has got. He said people just do not have any expectation of living that long. Yeah. So it's sort of, there's a component of mind over matter about it. Are you suggesting though, when we get to this thousand, year sort of cut off um, that essentially it's like the hammer you know the person said I've had that hammer for 20 years you know five new heads four new handles so we're going to have we're not going to have the limbs that we were born with I mean, there's a there's a perspective that we could replace enough parts that we don't have any of our original parts. Perhaps maybe our brain, but actually there's people looking at how we can download our brain so you can actually put in a new brain and put your... Th- the problem with the brain is it carries all your thoughts. You sort of yeah. want to keep that Well, going. it's not you if it's not your brain, is it? And so then it defines what do you mean by being alive? So living to oh. a thousand, you know, how much of your original parts are in there and, and what is living? Do you want that living to be in your... You know, in your well, if you're going to live to a thousand, a... you can afford to waste time sitting around talking about this, <laughs> can't you? <laughs> but I think there's what do a lot. We mean of... by living? Oh, <laughs> let's a have a long conversation like about it. Nanotechnology to get the antioxidants into the mitochondria within your cells are a huge advancement. 3D printing of organs—we're not anywhere near there yet. Maybe in the next 20 years, we can 3D print tissues in a mushy state, and we can go through what we call vascularization right now. Um, so there's a lot of technologies that are really advancing exponentially. You do subscribe to the whole antioxidant thing, don't you? I th- I th- I've seen the science behind it, and yeah, I believe in antioxidants. But that just means eat good fruit and veggies, well, so drink here's a bit the of thing. wine. This is you know, the thing. Why, if, if it's so... Is it that we actually don't want to live for a long time? Because, like, I drink too much coffee. You know, I my eating habits are all wrong. And I know that I could probably extend my life if I were to change those things, but I'm not prepared to do it. Right. So calorie restriction is another theory out there, right? If you reduce your calorie restriction by 30%, you can live five years longer. But I love my food too much. I yeah. don't know. I'd rather be happy and live a medium term amount of time then be on a diet continuously. What do you think forever? at the moment then with all the science developments that you know about, what would a medium term amount of time be for life? So right now we're predicted to be between 78 and 82 depending on whether you're male or female as our average lifespan. That's probably going to extend out to closer to 100 by the next generation because of medical advances. But there are things that are killing us faster too, so obesity, yep. I mean our diet Heart disease, is really cancer. All of, so actually we're, we're slowly killing ourselves and reducing that just because of our lifestyle choices. All right, all right, because we just insist on having fun, don't we? Um, Michelle, thank you so much for joining us. Michelle Dickinson, nanoscientist. There are things you can do, you see.